so I'll show you now how to use the editor. Um, so here's some images. So let's see. Let's edit these in bulk. So that's one thing you can do with the editor is, is do stuff in bulk. So let's go for it. And you can see the images right here. Some are 640, 800, 640, but they're all square. So we should be able to edit them properly and remove some watermarks manually if we wanted to. So you could go uh, use editor. Then it loads. So here we basically have the editor with a bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to turn everything off. Much easier. So you can have multiple things going at the same time within the editor. And it processes everything. So right now uh, we have three images set up. And you can click on the images here and before they were a bit different but now they're all going to be the same size they're all going to be 800 by 800 because I just turned on resize fill crop and I'm doing a resize and I'm forcing them to basically be max height of 800 so now they're all 800 because they're all square so I could change this and then they'll all be 900 so that's up to you if you want to do that but you also have other options here. You can do a fill or you can do a crop. So if you try to do a crop on a square with a square, it's not going to do anything. Um, a fill, you have to basically, will have to change this. You're allowed to create boxes on the images. So you could create boxes to hide certain layers. So, uh, I mean, certain watermarks. So you could create basically a, a rectangle here. And you can click anywhere on the image to change the color of the rectangle to match the color that you chose. So there you go. So it's gone. So you can only do one layer at a time. So you'd have to swap, but you'd swap all of them. So you'd have to kind of look right now to see if all your your images, if you're happy with all of them. Yeah, that one's nice. You see it covered it properly. And this one's good too. So you can swap all of them at the same time. Um, if you were to just click swap here, it would just uh, send them all back uh, and replace them. So instead of doing that, um, I'll show you some of these other things you could do. So you could do a, a custom fill. So what a custom fill would do with the square, you basically would have to make it non-square to see the fill. Um, we would have to make, let's say, the height. So we made the height 1200. It'll basically fill in the extra with white. So if you wanted all of your images to be uh, this size, um, this type of ratio, you could do that, and you could just fill it in. So, but let's say you didn't want this part here, you'd have to also put in a crop. But at the moment, it doesn't let you do a crop and uh, a fill resize uh, at the same time. So you'd have to swap, and then you could come back, and you could do a crop and crop the bottom with this crop edges tool. Um, if you were to do a 900 by 800 crop, you'd see that it would actually cut the image. 900 by 1200 crop, uh, it'll cut it, you see? So it still gives you the same dimensions, but it cuts it. So you could actually use it to cut out things as well. So a crop could be useful to get rid of extra text, but you probably still want to use the crop edges versus this type of crop. Um, this crop is useful if all of your images are centered and you want them all to be um, the exact same dimensions and you want to get rid of any extra stuff, maybe uh, people standing, uh, clothing, things like that uh, could be useful. Um, so you saw the layer, so the logos, all of this is pretty explanatory. So you get rid of the layer, we could add a logo, right, so... There we go, so you could do that, upload your, your bow tie. And then, um, yeah, sure. And then you can position it wherever you want. Uh, make sure you put in a padding 
Uh, so what the padding does, it uh, pushes it from the left to the right, but it's not going to do a padding when it's in the center. It's always just going to be centered. So the padding actually has no effect on the center. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. So you could just put it, let's say, you put it anywhere you want in the bottom, uh, bottom left, and you can just move it around. So you can give it padding. You can say, I want it to be pushed over by 50. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, text, same thing. Gives you a few other options. You can choose different uh, fonts. You can actually do uh, full width or not full width. So, you can see the difference there. So yeah, it's all the same thing. Uh, you can choose change the case and whatnot. So remember I showed you that um, you can click anywhere to select a color. So let's say you added a layer. Um, and so put it back to where it was. And then I can click anywhere to select it. So, But you can also click on the color and then select. It does the same thing. And that's useful in case you want to also add text and then you want to change the color of the text. So you click there and you can change it to, let's say, this uh, gray and um, the background as well. So you could click there and then you can click on, say, a light color. So there you go. So oh, maybe one more thing. Um, you can select up to 10 photos. And one other thing is that um, if you select photos of different dimensions, you have to be careful. So, you know, you have to look. If they're all square, it's fine. But if you're selecting some that are this dimension and then also uh, you know, a lot of these are just square already. But because um, in the editor, when you're creating a layer, and you're applying it on multiple photos if they're different sizes and you don't resize them using that resize button it'll place the layer differently on the different images so you should make sure you resize them to the same size um, uh, to get that layer to work properly all right thank you